Hello, I'm doing a movie review, and the movie I want to review is Puppet Master, which um, I have on this DVD set, which contains most of the Puppet Master movies. Um, this set right here, it doesn't include Puppet Master vs. Demotic Toys, because that one wasn't put out by Full Moon, which is the company that makes pretty much all the Puppet Master movies, and I know Full Moon doesn't even include Puppet Master vs. Versus demotic toys as being part of the series and this doesn't include the most recent one which I think was called Puppet Master Axis Rising and um, I think that may be because this set came out before that one came out but um this contains nine of the Puppet Master movies including the first one and I'll be reviewing the first one now the first Puppet Master movie is actually has somewhat of a different feel than um, the rest of the series did. Like, it does kind of stand on its own, in my opinion, and, um... And the first Puppet Master movie, I actually really do enjoy. Now, um... Now, Puppet Master was released in 1989, but this was released straight the video. This was not released in the theaters, and I think pretty much all of Full Moon's movies are released straight to video. Um, you know, like, originally this was actually going to get a theatrical release, but Charles Band, who is, uh, the creator of Full Moon, like, he thought the movie would make more money in the home video market, and, um... Yo, know, and maybe he was right, because the film did become a cult classic, and it spawned a crapload of sequels, and I think it was actually Full Moon's first, like, feature film. Uh, now, Puppet Master begins in the year 1939 at this hotel called the Bodega Bay Inn, and it starts following an old man named Andre Toulon, played by William Hickey, and what happens is he's a puppeteer, and you see all these puppets puppets around him, but it, it turns out that the puppets are alive, and it turns out that this guy, Andre Toulon, has powers, like, he actually has the power to bring these puppets that he makes to life, and what happens is it turns out the Nazis know about this power that he has, and they're trying to get to him, so in the beginning of the movie, you see these two Nazis come to the hotel, and they go up to his room, and and Toulon realizes that this power that he has in the wrong hands could be used for evil, so he ends up killing himself uh, before the Nazis can get to him. So the film then jumps ahead the present day and it starts following a group of psychics and what happens is these psychics all have similar dreams. They're all having dreams about this man that they worked with a few years earlier named Neil Gallagher and it appears that Gallagher, who is also a psychic, is sending them some kind of like psychic messages and what happens is these dreams lead them them to this hotel, which as it turns out is the same hotel that you saw Andre Toulon kill himself at in the beginning of the movie, so what happens is when they go there, they meet Gallinger's wife, but they find out from his wife that Gallinger actually killed himself, so now these psychics start investigating into what actually caused Gallinger to kill himself, and long story short, it turns out that Toulon's puppets are are still at the hotel, and it turns out that the puppets now have a new master. Like, it turns out that somebody has discovered Too Long's secret as to um, how to br how to control the puppets, and it turns out that now somebody is controlling the puppets to go after these psychics and start killing them off one by one, and that's the basic plotline of Puppet Master. But I definitely like the first Puppet Master movie. Now, it's definitely a low-budget movie, but I feel like it uses its budget really well, actually. Like, for a low-budget direct-to-video movie, I actually think it's a pretty well-made movie. Like, the effects work in the movie actually do look pretty good. Like, um, when you see the puppets moving, I think it's mostly stop-motion effects, but the effects work, like, when you see the puppets moving, it looks really, 
really good. And I actually think it's a pretty well-acted movie. Like, all the actors in the movie, I think, do a pretty good job. Um, yo, and, uh... It does have, it's definitely kind of an atmospheric kind of movie, like, um, it definitely has an atmosphere about it, and, like I said, I, I think it's a pretty well-made movie for a low-budget direct-to-video movie. So, um, yeah, I definitely recommend the first Puppet Master movie, and bye.